Hi guys, Wings Butler here. Well, I'm going to actually do this video sooner than later. Like I was saying yesterday in my uh, drill base that I got this uh, 89 cape off of uh, Tony May. Or my, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. But anyways, uh, I actually got, I think, what you call the third version. I know everybody knows we've seen a number of videos uh, on the first cape that he came out. I wasn't a really big fan of the first cape. It was a little bit too slick and shiny for me, but uh, he was going in the right direction. So after seeing a video of uh, Motu Classics when he was showing all these capes, and I seen this last one and when he was talking about it had much, uh, you know, it, it didn't seem to re reflect the light as much as the first ones did. And he used the material apparently that he's, this is the material that he's using on the, the NECA 18 inch. So I thought, well, being that I was already getting the Man of Steel cape off him, and one thing led to another, but anyways, we end, I ended up getting this cape off him. And I'll have to tell you guys, it has the OCD seal of approval. I am extremely happy with this cape uh, when I got it. What I was really shocked about when I took it out of the package was how soft and heavy it was. I mean, I don't know where he got this material. I mean, when I seen the material, I... I, it, it's like I've seen it somewhere before. I don't know. I've seen it on woman's lingerie or whatever it was, but it's a really, really thin, very, very soft material, and it's perfect for this. Uh, for, well, as far as the texture goes, for this particular figure, because it really has a bat skin quality to it. And uh, so, see if I can spin it around here for you. I mean, it hangs beautifully. You know, it hangs beautifully, and the texture on it is very bat-like, if you will. Very nice material. Very happy with it. As you can see how it hangs quite naturally. I mean, it's a little puffy, I suppose, but, I mean, compared to the Hot Toys cape, I mean, this is a hundred times, a hundred times better. A hundred times better. And it's a, it, you don't really have to pose it. I mean, all you just have to do a little bit of a tuck in here. And the cape more or less poses itself. I mean, I didn't really be play with it too much here. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, you know, I talked about Tony yesterday in my other video. So, you know, top guy. I highly recommend his services. And this cape, uh, like I said, guys, if you guys are looking for an, uh, the best custom 89 cape for your 89 Batman, I highly recommend this cape. I uh, highly recommend it. And it's... Uh, you know, I can't believe the job he did. The other thing, too, you know, let me give you a close-up. The other thing, too, that amazes me is if you look right here at the front here, two front pieces, so maybe you can't see it, but exactly the same length. I mean, he, had, he cut this cape so well. I'll be honest, I was a little unsure at first when I start seeing these capes but when you get one in hand I just I just I couldn't believe how soft it was I just I imagined it being a little bit thicker but uh, yeah I mean this is still a kick-ass figure you know no question no question about it You know, he's got all the seams cut in the right spot. You know, there's a side shot of it. You know, it hangs nice. I mean, it sticks out a little bit at the back of the stand, but, uh, I mean, I just can't get over how good this cape is. It's really good. Yeah, extremely happy with it, guys. Get one. Get them quick. Yeah, you can't get anything better than that. And while I'm over here, what? Oh, the figure of all figure, guys. There's the money shot right there, the side view. That's where this figure looks the best. Actually. And I didn't so show this to you guys, but since the last time I did a video on this, which was actually quite a while ago, I made a top for it. You know, to complete everything. 
you know what it up very similar to the to the base Let's see if I can come around here and plus I put a mirror up in top there you can't see it so much because all the lights are on in here but uh, it does reflect the light back down yeah I know there's a lot of glare off these cases the only thing I don't like about these plastic cases they they really glare even more so than an acrylic Yes, this figure here is famously known as Beetlejuice. You guys know some of the, the joke that I have for this. It's at the foot of my bed here. But we won't get into that joke. And while I'm rocking it, I'm not leaving this room without saying hello to the beast. This figure here has gotten a little bit of attention the last few days. Pete Kitchen, he's got his. Dean did a cl clip mod video, which I thought was really good that's where I have mine like a little bit higher than what Dean had but my cowl is not doesn't go down quite as much as Dean's because I actually lowered this cowl a quarter of an inch uh, shortened the peg so you can get so I had a really tight seal around the neck if you put cotton balls like tear cotton balls up and sort of stuff it around the the peck area here it really helps to to create a little bit more realistic transition between the cowl and the suit and then I got the belt lowered down at the wire in the back try to be kind of artistic about it but you can't see it and I know there's a shitload of glare here guys sorry about that but I also the other addition I made to the base here is I made a label for it being that the cape you know I got the wrap around look uh, names covered up. I mean, I don't need to tell anybody who this figure is. If you come into this house and you don't know who this is, well, you'd be going right back out the door. But I do like to have the label. Center it says Batman Begins. Casted a bat symbol there. Put it on kind of a label with rivets and everything. its awesomeness, its regalness. And the Joker. Not much more needs to be said, my friends. All weathered up. Made a whole bunch of money for it there quite some time ago. Yeah, you guys have seen millions of videos on this on my channel, but like I said, I'm not going to leave this room without showing what's what's going on. And the old Spider-Man, still sitting here. It might be taking a box nap soon if something of higher priority shows up, but uh, I do still like looking at it. But anyways, guys, a double porn shot here. Hey, anyways, guys, for the from the bedroom collection here in Canada, Wayne's Butler signing off. Peace and love to all.